Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Chelsea Corkins, and I am a 4-H specialist here at Missouri Extension. Um, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to use a newer tool to us um, called Facebook Premiere. So you might recognize me from our 4-H Live online learning um, series that we've been putting out on Facebook. But what you might not have noticed is that the last about four days, they have actually been run through a different program called Facebook Premiere. Um, this gives us a couple different advantages. Uh, well, first is that it's a lot like Facebook Live. It uh, creates that community that we talk about, uh, that connection that you get uh, through viewing something live with other people. Um, it allows uh, your viewers to comment on the video in real time. Um, but the biggest advantage that's different from Facebook Live is that it's pre-recorded. So this means for those of us who might be a little less comfortable doing a live presentation, uh, want to integrate things such as PowerPoint or some other um, devices that might make um, our, our presentation a little more interactive, um, or for those who don't have steady internet connection. So let me say that one again. Facebook Premiere, because it is pre-recorded, helps those of us who don't have steady internet connection. Uh, we can pre-record the video and then go in and make adjustments from there. So that's a really big advantage that Facebook Premiere offers, so that's why we're going to go through it today. Um, so first steps, uh, same thing that you'll have in just almost anything you're doing for your either extension or 4-H page. So over here in your pages, select which one you're going to go to. Go to MU, um, 4-H, and Celine. Okay, so we're going to go down as if we're making a post for anything else that we might be looking at. I'm going to click that photo and video and find our option. Let's see which one will work best for mine. I will use this Facebook Premiere um, tutorial. Um, yeah, let's do that one. Okay, so a couple of notes. First off is that it needs to be an MP4 format. That is the best format that Facebook likes to talk to. Um, the second note is that the first time you do this, Facebook just brings it up as a video. Exit back out and try again. We actually want it to pop up with this additional thing um, that we then can create our video to be a premiere. I'm not sure why Facebook does this. I think it's just um, so that it hides some of these additional uh, details, but we will, there we go. So this is what we want. We want to see this page where it says add a video. Okay, so a couple other notes about that video. I said it needs to be an MP4 format. It must be between 60 seconds and four hours long. So for most of us, that won't be a problem. First things first, you want to create a title. Is this part of a series like our 4-H Live Online Learning? Um, is it a program you're doing on container gardening, on SMQA? Whatever that is, fill that in here. Second step for the most basic of uh, Facebook premieres is to go to our publishing options. So this is the big one. It is automatically selected to publish now, but instead we want to go to Premiere. So again, what is Facebook Premiere? It is in essence, a premiere of a new video. So think of when you go to the movies and maybe there's a midnight premiere. Everyone is watching that movie for the first time together. This is the same thing that you're getting with your premiere video. Everyone is gonna watch your premiere video at the same time that you're publishing it together, creating that community, but it's not live. Um, so in premiere, we wanna set our time that it's gonna premiere. This also then creates um, a an update that people can get a reminder for to remind them when it's going to premiere. So a couple cool things that are advantageous to your um, static pre-recorded video. Um, Facebook also likes its premiere options, which means that you get the same advantage for Facebook Live, which is that they put it up on top of everyone's newsfeed. Um, they won't do that with videos that you just upload independently. So that's something to keep in mind is that if you're uploading it through premiere, it gets promoted a little more widely than it would otherwise. Okay, so choose your date and choose your time. Your time has to be sometime between 10 minutes from now and I believe seven days. Uh, so you can put this quite a bit in advance um, or you could do it the same day, it just has to be at least 10 minutes before. Okay, and that's it for the most basic of Facebook premieres. Um, double check that it says it's 100% uploaded and that it's on the right page that you want it to go to and then you can click 
publish. Now that's the most basic of your options. Any video that you pre-record, you can do that with. There are a few things that I want to show you that are add-on additions. I understand though that everyone's at a different point in their learning. For some of us, um, that's easy. We can get that done, no problem. Let's add some more layers to it. For some of us, that might be the first place we wanna start with. For your first premiere, that's awesome. Okay, so if we scroll down here, We've got a couple more options. Like it says, it will always put this video to the newsfeed. You can determine whether it's on display to watch or allow embedding. I suggest you leave both of them checked. That's gonna get you the most viewers. You can add playlists if that's something you're working on. Um, you can also cross post to other pages. So say that you are a 4-H specialist like myself and you're recording something, you'd want it to go to Carroll, Sheraton, and Saline counties do that all at the same time. You can also kind of adjust uh, what types of um, commenting you can do. You can turn off that live commentary, which is what we call commenting and liking during the video. Um, that allows you to get kind of that reaction from your audience. Say that you um, drop in some Alka-Seltzer tablets into some water and starts fizzing. Your participants can make that, ooh, ah, face, wow. Um, if it is not live commentary, they can't do that in real time. So just something to keep in mind there. Um, you can also double check that you meet these criteria. My video right now is only about 40 seconds long, so it doesn't meet that minimum. Uh, they do suggest that you put video descriptions and then utilize tags. So let's talk about what those are. Okay, so if you're looking to ramp up your Facebook premiere, here are a couple options of how you can do that. Go back to that create post. That's what we clicked on here. And again, we've got your title here, but you might want to add a description. This is where I put hashtags. Um, this is where I put references. Um, you can also put more details of, you know, what is your container gardening program about? Um, for all audiences, um, whatever details you feel might be appropriate to put in there. That's going to pop, pop up as your description for your video. Your title is still gonna be on there in big bold letters as well, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is where you can add some tags if you've been doing that throughout your group. Um, this makes searching for this video within the watch platform on Facebook a lot easier. Um, might not be a bad idea to put your discipline there, could put Missouri um, extension. Right now, I usually just leave that blank. Um, to me, we're not doing much of the searching on Facebook, um, but that might be something to keep in mind. Uh, here's your video if you want to double check. Uh, but over here are some of the options that you can really start to get um, get into. First is this thumbnail. Uh, you can adjust what your thumbnail is going to be on the presentation. So if you've ever gone through Facebook, uh, usually on your mobile phone, um, it won't always play videos automatically. It'll give you a thumbnail initially. And that's what this what you're choosing here. So you can choose it from automatically. It chooses the top 10 stills from your video. You can add an image. Um, say that you have a title slide that you'd like to put in, but it's not in your video. You can add that here, or you can do a video frame from the video. So I've tended to do this, choose a video frame of a really cool thing that they're holding. Maybe it's a picture of uh, the experiment that we're doing. It's the end ice cream bag. Uh, choosing that video frame lets you control what this thumbnail looks like. A couple more options. Uh, are these subtitles and captions. I encourage everyone to try and learn this one as you get more familiar with Facebook Premiere. Uh, choose your language, pretty straightforward. Um, you can go with English, of course, but anything else that you feel might be appropriate for your um, audiences would be great. Uh, I've scrolled past English, there's English. And then there's this button called Auto Generate. So this means that if you click here, um, Facebook is going to create its own captions based on what it believes you are saying. This is great. I found it to be about, oh, 80% accurate, which for a mechanical um, auto-generated captioning tool, that is very good. Uh, usually they sit around 50 to 60%. So this is fantastic. Um, keep in mind though, it is gonna miss some words. 4H, for example, doesn't usually end up 4-H. Um, so if you're going to do the auto-generate, I would suggest that you double check what that captioning is going to look like if you can. Um, also note that the captions don't show up on that first premiere. It won't show up on your video until it gets um, posted afterwards. So once you have your video premiere, it's going to stay on Facebook as a video. 
Uh, so that means people can come back and look at it whenever they want. They can pause, they can rewind. Um, that's, that's the same thing with Facebook Live. Once you go live, your video remains on Facebook and people can interact with it as a normal video. Um, and that's when your captions will show up. Okay, um, you can also write your own or upload some if you get into, um, into doing that. Next one is our polls. Uh, this is a cool option. It gives you a little bit of an interaction that you can do with your, your audience. Um, pretty easy of just create poll, type your question, your couple of options, and then you get to choose where in your video that, that uh, begins. So they suggest 30 seconds. Um, you can shorten this to 10 seconds is the shortest you can go. That means the poll is going to show up on the screen. People can answer it. They can give you options. Um, and again, over here, it says I'm starting my video at zero seconds and it's ending, or I'm starting my uh, poll at video time, zero seconds. It's going for 10 seconds. And then you can publish your results either right after, nev never, or schedule it. Um, so play around with those options if you'd like a little interaction. It might just literally be a question of we've, we've thrown out, would we ask it for, are you a member of Missouri 4-H? Um, that gives us a real quick idea of how many people watching at that time are already enrolled in 4-H or how many of those might be new members that are watching. So real simple, quick tools that you might be able to do with the poll. So I'm gonna cancel out of this for now. Um, there's also tracking and then director tools. I have not worked anything in those. Um, those are going to give you a lot more publishing power, some different options that you can use. So if you are getting interested in making your video really dynamic, um, you can either do that here in your uh, Facebook premiere, or you can use a lot of different video software editing tools, uh, whether that's OBS um, or um, some of the free or open movie makers. Uh, any of those are fine. Um, those all require a little bit more of knowledge on how to edit videos, what all you might wanna do there. Um, totally doable, but we realize not for everyone. So that's why we wanted to go over just what is basic Facebook premiere. How would you just get your video slapped up there? Um, but how could you also make a few edits to it to really make it more dynamic? So again, some of the advantages to using Facebook Premiere, it is pre-recorded. That means you can do it as many times as you need. You can make adjustments. Uh, you also, therefore, don't have to have stable internet, which is fantastic now that we've all been moved out of our offices. Um, it does allow you to interact with the audience more than a video does, um, just a static video that you would upload. Um, it allows for real-time live commentary um, that's good to get some feedback. That means you can also ask or you can also answer comments that might come up, questions in the comments while your video is still rolling. Um, therefore, you know, that, that creates that belonging, that community that we're looking for that you oftentimes lose when there's a computer screen between you. Um, other than that, uh, the biggest advantage is similar to Facebook Live and that Facebook really loves this tool. So it's going to pop that up to the beginning. Um, just to show you what Premiere looks like once you've posted it, I'm going to go ahead and try and do that real quick. Let's see if it does publish for me, and then I'll delete it quickly. So like I said, one of the benefits of Premiere is that it does give you kind of a placeholder. Now be aware that this placeholder is going to publish when you're, um, when you are posting that. So say that I'm posting it right now at 7.15 a.m. That means that when my video gets prepared, it is going to post as if it was at 7.15 a.m. and not 10 a.m. So what I suggest is that you adjust the time that it looks like it needs to um, prepare. So let me refresh this. It says that it is published successfully. We'll see if it comes up okay. And I'll show you where you click on to adjust that time. So that adjusting that time is going to be really important if you are a page that has a lot of interactions. For example, we like to do our Facebook um, premiere post, what we just walked through, at nine o'clock in the morning. However, our video is not coming up until much later. So that would be um, at you know, three o'clock in the afternoon. Well, by three, we've had three or four more posts on Missouri 4-H, meaning that our video gets put down later on in the timeline. So what I suggest is once your live video goes live, so that would be either right at, um, 
at your starting time, um, or you can do it within 30 minutes of the start time. Click on these three dots and change date. So where do you want this to show up on your timeline? If you're wanting it to show up today, but you want it to be as immediate as possible, I want it to show up at 7 a.m. Say that I posted this at 5 a.m. and we've now made three or four posts since then and my video now is gonna get lost on that news feed. I can adjust it to being more accurate of when we want it to be, where we want it to be in that news feed. Kind of confusing, that's why I waited to the very end to show this part. Uh, for Facebook pages that there's not tons and tons of activity on, many of our extension pages, um, you're not gonna have to worry about this because if you are premiering a video, putting up that initial post at 11 o'clock in the morning and it's for a program at two in the afternoon, you may not have any posts between those times. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, uh, we are here to help. We're learning along with you. Again, my name is Chelsea Corkins. You can reach me at my email of Corkins, C-O-R-K-I-N-S, and then first initial C at Missouri.edu. Uh, my colleague Blake Gazaway has also been working uh, to produce um, our 4-H live online learning um, platforms, whether that's through Facebook Live or through Facebook uh, Premiere. Uh, we also want to give a big shout out to a 4-H volunteer, Aaron Baker, for introducing us to this platform. Um, so we are here to help if you have questions of where you're going from here. Um, last thing for those that get kind of advanced once you've run through things, you can always go back to this admin only, edit your details, and then edit things from there. So keep that in mind uh, as you're going through. A lot of it is clicking on it, giving it a try. Benefit of Facebook um, Premiere is if you mess something up, you can re-upload that video. Not a problem, whereas in Facebook Live, you push the wrong button, it might have disappeared. Um, so this is a lot more user-friendly. Give it a try. Try it on your personal page. Put some premieres up there. Like I said, I put test title um, so that I could mess around with some of the different um, options here. Give it a try, see what works, what doesn't work. Um, this might work for some of our uh, specialists and hopefully it does. If you have any questions, let us know and we will try to help out as much as we can. All right, thanks so much.